I did the Moonbreaker, and on my screen, literally all three attacks missed, but I still got the mount. Okay, I'm not gonna question that. Thank you, Monster Hunter Gods. Oh! I forgot it was a, a capture. God damn it. Well, at, at the very least, that was quick. Yeah, that was quick. And it, uh, I hate it. They don't always give you the signals that they're weak. And not to just, mention, we were wailing on it for so long. I hate that. Uh, well, we're, we try again. <laughs> It completely slipped my mind that it was a capture quest. Yeah. How about I just pull out my super overpowered tells you when he's ready to be captured armor set and we just end it out and say, hey, yeah, we did it. I mean, we're going to do it anyway, <laughs> so but it's just a matter of our pride. I got rid of that ages ago. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'll just use a the same weapon I'm using now. That way it's not ridiculous. Yeah, I hate capture quests. At the very least, it's one of the few features I'm glad about in Rise where it's just a quality of life where you actually know one, because uh, your cats actually tell you it's uh, right for capture. And two, uh... They do that in Rise? Yeah. And two, uh, uh, there's a me. mark underneath the, the monster on, icon on the map. Uh, not on the map, but in the top right corner of the screen, there's a blue icon meaning ready for trapping. Wow. Those fuckers. Yeah. Uh, that would have been such a nice thing. No, in this game, you either gotta wait for it to limp, or have the ones hard to get skill on the, your armor set. What armor set is that? This is the a mix of the high rank and G rank Astalos armor. Oh. Not the not the G rank, but the deviant version. Oh. That just colored it blood red. All right, ready. Let's get this. Am quest over with. So something I remembered in the Monster Hunter world, which I'm not sure if there's an actual name for like the definitive world of it. They they never have any gods, because in most instances they the people just like worship the wyverns themselves as gods. Especially with ones like Fatalis having. World, literal world ending power and such. This makes sense at least. Yeah. I mean, that's the closest thing to gods that are in the Monster Hunter universe. The Black Flame Fatalis, who literally split a continent with a tail swipe. Actual thing in the Monster Hunter lore. Of course, uh, it had to be Fatal, is it not like an Alatrion? Nah. Alatrion is strong, but... I mean, in this game, he's like only barely getting the grasp of his true powers, supposedly. Especially the elemental stuff. But Fatalis is like an ancient thousand-year-old dragon. 
who literally lives in the kingdom it destroyed. Alright, we gotta remind ourselves, it's a capture quest. I've got the skill for it. On my armor set. I'm here, you bastard. You really did not want me to heal. Usually don't. So paranoid now. I literally have the skill that tells me when he's ready to be captured. Okay, Stop attacking me. He's ready to be captured. Alright, set in the trap. Now. Let me, you fucker. Okay, trank bombs. Trank bombs. Yes! There we go. Ah, I hate this. I hate capture quests so much. I never want to do them. Right, powder stones. <laughs> that explode. It did. I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Like cannonballs where if you drop them, just explode so you can dodge roll away from them and not get hit. Yay, capture quest done, because fuck that. I mentioned this to you before, but in Rise, uh, the, they have uh, different rewards depending on uh, if you capture it or not. Ugh. I'm pretty sure there's like a slight variance in the number of items you get between capturing and hunt killing a monster in a standard quest, but... It's not talked about enough in the game, so you just kill them normally. Hi. 
Which makes sense, like, you can... It's more satisfying killing than capturing at yeah, times. Exactly. Besides, when you kill the monster, you get to carve it, which is like the whole main thing. Alright, next week you've got Moonlit Bubble Bath or Fury Run Afoul. They're both hunts, so we're good to go. Thank fucking god. Ah, uh, Gameth. The tank of the Monster Hunter Generations party. Whereas Mizutsune is the cleric, Astalos the rogue, and Glavinus the barbarian. Yeah, I can see that. And then Valstrax is the artificer. Yep. Sword of Tafoon got a gamut going crazy up on the ridge. No one can sleep at night, fearing it'll come <laughs> charging through the walls. I beg you, put it down so we can rest easy. out in area one popo are nearby why are they dangerous no they're called popo oh sorry it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while since i saw that bridge oh i need antic antlers anyway so Gameth I mostly just like because of how absolutely huge he is. Not even too much lengthwise, but mostly just like the height. Yeah, I can see that. Most other monsters that are big are just long. Like me, it's good, eh? I'm thinking like a Cantor Ukanlos, really. Well, I mean, they're about as tall as Gan too, but. Just something about it. Alright, you probably don't know what those monsters are, actually. It's be fun. Later on, eventually. Yep. But for now, it's just getting to my.
Oh, why did you change your mounting thing? I don't know, so I have like on this game you have three different pages of settings. Sometimes it just changes automatically, honestly. Hey, nice though. So I can't make it. I guess a fully charged greatsword slash of a face would end it. Still, it happened a lot sooner than I expected. Can you imagine if you still took damage once Gameth falls? Yeah. No Astalos, whenever it dies, can bite forward and actually hit you, but I'm not sure if it deals damage. Because most of the time when you do it, it's the end of the quest, and you can't die after that, so... Myth does makes the whole area shake whenever it dies and falls down, and Glavinus, whenever its tail blade gets cut off, it can actually hit you. Wow. Yeah. As far, so as far as I'm aware, Mizutsune is the only one without a unique ether broken part thing interaction like that. I wonder what that part of the game's face was like. Rock? Ivory? I kind of imagined it like bone. Yeah, I can see it just being pure bone. Especially since it's basically the same material as his tusks. Next up, Mizutsune. Yep. The Faded 4 I have the most experience with. Not much experience, but most experience. But it's in Rise, so... Yeah. More than, more than nothing. You think I got a hundred of these? It's only 93. <laughs> like, actually, I have 93 of them now, though. <laughs> well, you have to use them somehow. Yep. The problem is, even using them one for every single quest I ever do, I still end up keep getting more than I ever need. It's ridiculous, but helpful. Always gotta remember to store your items. What a beautiful creature that Mizutsune is. The way it uses bubbles to catch it, it's great. You gotta put a stop to it. But people slip on those bubbles in the dark. Safety first. Okay. It's a slight slip hazard, so murder this thing. God. Don't worry, the cat is on it. <laughs> Some of these quests, they ha always have like really serious reasons. For wanting to kill them but some of them this one is actually like hey it's a little kid who's like hey I don't have the motivation to do anything maybe if you killed this large dragon I would be motivated and do it what the fuck the thing is it's still a quest that he put on the board Guild approved that you can go and do and get paid for. Like, who, who the fuck is funding all of these? The guild. Still, that means the so guild hunters could just make their own bank by just 
making stupid ass quests, having people complete them and get paid by the guild. Oh, ain't that kind of dumb. Well, I mean, they are just invasive monsters, kind of. Not really invasive, but they are an issue, that's for sure. That part means it's when they got up, then they immediately fell back down. And I threw it on the ground. So the Faded Four has their own strengths and everything. With Mizutsune, it's, for one, the uniqueness of his attacks. Like, who would have thought to use fucking bubbles in combat? Also, his music. Top-notch, hands-down, best of the Faded Four. No arguments. False. You are wrong, actually. It's not my fault that Aslos is way cooler. It's not, but like, it's okay to be wrong sometimes. I can say the same to you. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. They still let me smash your face in. your weapon at, you could have just guarded the roar. Yes, I could have, but uh, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> Takes time to develop the reflexes for it. The great sword mean I'm just so good at reading the monsters now. Second hand, second nature. This word monster is rolling for me so much. I mean, if you were fighting for your life, you'd scream too. Would I? Probably. Especially if you're getting stabbed a bunch. You know what? Fair enough. But just like those orphans, this one is dead. Comment. I am not a liability. <laughs> I'm not responsible for any of your actions. <laughs> but of course, Don't worry, ne neither were the orphans. <laughs> but of course, Miaster. Comet, Comet would help you hide a body. He would. No, he, no, he, he would like see that you're trying to hide a body and be like, no, nah, no. Nah, you're no. doing it wrong. Right. So here, yeah, you're doing it wrong. So here's what you have to do. All be all the people need to know is Comet would most definitely murder people. Yeah. Just like confirmed. Just look at his eyes. Uh, you can't look at his <laughs> eyes. It's hidden beneath the mask. Oh, that's even worse. Doesn't want the police to see him. I'm have reached Hunter rank 206. Yay. That's meaningless, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Next up, the urgent quest. Yeah. Greetings, John Hunter. I was hoping you'd come back. You remember my investigation into the disappearances? The group I sent out looked into my just came back with some troubling news. They found a cavern littered with more skeletons than you could count. They're calling it the Wyverns in. It's more, before they could analyze what they found, they were driven off by a two-headed dragon. We don't have definite proof, but I'd say the appearance of this dragon in this boneyard is no coincidence. Which brings me to my point. I now know it's all rumors. Why can't we, together with the Hunter's Guild, declare this to be a top priority for us? We must drive off this two-headed dragon, which we name Nakarko, where the Hunter died successfully. The guild has put the title of 
and we hunt and hunt them, so you know what to do. That's the spirit. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the first introduction of this beast? Lives in a cave full of bones. All right, that it probably caused. Yeah, that's the main thing. What do you think about the two-headed dragon part, though? It's certainly unique. Yep. Two-headed carcass, the carcass. Oh, that's so cool! It did purple icon. Yeah, for a repel. Because it's a repel, do we need anything specific? No. Oh. Basically, just means deal enough damage until it'll run away. Because it's a story boss you fight later. Okay. Would go with dragon resistance though. Okay. Also cleansers, bring those. None of these uh, food skills are that good or what I want, so I'll just go with at least uh, hindrance one of them. Yep. They can change a lot, so it's not always it's the best ones. Yeah. to the wyvern sand. Attention all hunters, repelling the cargoes is I can lose top priority. Combine your efforts and bring this uh, task to fruition. May luck be with you. We will combine our efforts with literally no one. Ooh, that's it. Oh my god, it's sands! <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I wanna have a bad time. Oh yeah, we get the ballista. One of my favorite things to use in this game. So just stand on the cliff here and look at these surroundings of this place. So cool, and then you look down. Jesus Christ. Or you just jump directly into the black, gaping void. I was gonna make a joke, but like, uh, I decided not to. <laughs> then you come face to face with the mighty two-headed beast. Because it's a hydro, does it split into two? No. Uh, can you Not imagine it? God. Can you imagine if that was a gimmick of this fight? That'd be cool, but no. Its heads do. Its necks do seem to be its weak point, though. You can attack them a bunch, and it'll drop little shinies, which happen to be on more in ballista shots. Which you can use. You deal enough damage. You can already notice that the heads here, well, the entire the entire body of this thing is covered in bones. It uses the bones as armor. The beast it kills. That is cool. If you can deal enough damage to the heads. Oh, the bone armor will break off and it'll retreat to the sand. Not this is not sand, it's literally just bones. But we gotta give this guy his daily dose of bone hurting juice. Bone hurting? Hurt his bones. Another charge. Oh, I see what you need the cleansers for. I was not realizing that blue aura is what caused it. Yep, it's the mucus that 
emits from its body. If you end up rolling while you're covered in the mucus, you can get... I forgot what the status is called. I think it's like Bone Blight? Bone Blight, but... Sify, that's what it is, because you're just covered in the bones and everything. Stunned me after charging me into a wall. Now it heads out into the, the ridge thing. you can pick both of its bones, it'll fall over and reveal its weak spot, which we can't do, because it's in the, up in the edge of the map. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. That doesn't usually happen, but its main body goes back in. And heads come back up. I think this was just it, did you? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> On the bright side, you'll know when it gets to the second phase. See, that sounds much more like much more of a threat than anything. <laughs> Stunned, so it'll show its weak spot on its back to go between these things, and it's this large rainbow glowing spot. It was only revealed for like a second. Awesome. Cool. Mustard. Doesn't do the second phase? I guess it not just... yet. Or unless we did damage then. It just couldn't get to it in time. I mean, my sword is a G rank one, so I guess, but. Either way. Anyways, that is the first fight with the evil Nakarkos. Honestly, that's quite the spectacle. Especially being a two-headed wyvern. So you only... Oh, this is the, just the first instance where you only know tiny bits about it. You do learn more later on as the story progresses. You get weapons? What? 
but you got like the ancient ancient shards right yeah yep i got a charge so, blade and a hunting horn i did ones though from an ancient civilization long gone they're weak on their own, but if you upgrade them a bunch with the right materials, they can be restored to their former glory. Believe me, it look cool. Actually, I have to check if that I is actually... A, that is a lot of wall attacks that I got just from getting to Hunter rank 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did just get to high rank, which is like the first footstep of the game. But honestly, that seems like a good place to call it. Real quick though, I have to see if I have this one yes, I do. Well, those rusted weapons, whenever you restore them enough, you can upgrade them to their truest forms of the ancient technology that they used to be. One of them, such as the switch axe I have, looks like this. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks cool. This is called the Mundus Divinus. Divinus. It is a chainsaw axe. It's so cool. Hi. Oh no. I'm looking at the next quests. The next urgent one for four star is a police off. You're getting flashbacks already? Uh, I, I just feel. I'm gonna feel bad for you, mainly. Of interesting, unique monsters and five star, or the page could just reload on me for no reason. Two urgent quests at five star, six star, and other strong fights. At seven star quests, they get much harder. Fighting two monsters at once of multiple types, a Shigaru Magala, Kidios, and fighting the, the Karkos in the true fight. Can't wait. After that, it goes to G rank, which is also extremely exciting for all of the urgent quests. We made amazing progress. We went through a whole rank, though it was just the... But full... we're now in high rank, so... Yes, indeed. Stronger monsters, better material. And now, now all the monsters basically have new materials since it's high rank. Of course, you'll need high rank armor, high rank weapon, and stuff. Otherwise, you'll just get your ass handed to you. Yeah, I know. Honestly, this lavender is a really kind of looks cool. It does, but those are honestly pretty weak. Unless you just upgrade them with the high grade part, high rank parts, but. I might upgrade them with the high rank parts, you know. Eventually, sure. Eventually. <sighs> but it is uh, late, so. Thank you for carrying me all the way to the high rank. Yep. Boy, am I excited for you to see the rest of the story with Nikarkos. Because what if I told you that it's not really a two-headed beast? It's a three-headed beast? Nope. What if I told you that those things weren't even its heads? Their tails? Their arms? Tentacles. Oh, tentacles. 